What's going on guys? So in the spirit of the holidays, I've compiled this list of the top five Lego Christmas sets. Now these are my opinions and I'm sure we'll disagree at some point. So if you disagree with one of my choices, let me know down in the comments. Be nice about it though. It's, it's Christmas. Come on now. So without further ado, let's jump into number five. Coming in at number five is set 10254, the winter holiday train from 2016. Now, when the Winter Village line decided to do a train in 2016, a lot of people were very happy when the rumors were coming out, but once it came out, some people were disappointed. However, I didn't have any Lego trains, nor a winter train to put around my Winter Village or my Christmas tree, so seeing this coming out is something that I'm, I was pretty happy about. The price was 100 bucks, and it only had 734 pieces, but you also gotta take into account, it's a train, and second of all, it's got a full loop of track that goes around pretty much any Christmas tree I've tried to put it around. In fact, I have it going around my Christmas tree as I record this video. The train may not be the biggest or the longest, but I think the detail level in it is excellent. The fact that the little tree on the center cart spins as you push the train around I think is really cool and that's something we haven't really seen in a train before and this is definitely the most fun Lego train that I think they've ever done. Now, last year I tried to put power functions on it. I did not have a uh, limiter that limits how much power goes to the motors so this train was derailing a lot uh, I haven't really experienced it with power functions but I'm sure it is excellent with power functions the minifigure selection is great and all the little small mini builds of toys you get with it is awesome in my opinion my only complaint would be that I wish they would have maybe bumped the price up 20-30 bucks and included a watered down version of the 2017 Winter Village Station set along with this set and move past the train this year Clocking in at number 4 is set 40223, The Snow Globe. Set had 215 pieces and was a gift with purchase last year uh, around Black Friday in early December. And this year they made it available again and if I'm correct, I think in the UK they made it available to buy for $9.99. Now $9.99 for 215 pieces, a seasonal set and with one minifigure is an excellent deal. In fact, I wouldn't probably have gotten the Winter Village train that I talked about before this if it wasn't for them offering this sweet gift with purchase along with a, I think it was $75 purchase at the time. The build's really cool and pretty detailed for what you're getting. Like I said, a gift with purchase that's like 200 pieces is awesome. It's got a small little drawer that you can pull out uh, and you can put something in there and give it to someone as a gift, I don't know. Uh, just the detail on it's excellent. It's got some studs, some flat studs in it to act as snow inside the snow globe. Now I think about it, I'm not quite sure how, how well this works as an actual snow globe, so uh, why don't we go put some water in it and find out. So guys, we've got our uh, snow globe here. It's, uh, it's a little wet, because I've tried this a few times and it hasn't been successful, but this is going to be the one. Towel's a little wet and we've got uh, our cup full of water right here. So, let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, tree came out. All right, keep it nice and tight. And, oh no. There we go. Nice and a, uh, nice and a uh, tight seal on that snow globe. All right. You've lost about 50% of the water, and it's uh, it's caused the towel to become soaking. <laughs> so I, uh, it's a good looking set. Not quite a, not quite as practical as one may think, though. So uh, don't try this at home. So uh, that didn't work. But other than the set not being very practical, it's a good looking set, and I, I, I like having it sitting around my house around Christmas time. Coming in at number three is going to be the 2015 set, number 40125, Santa's Visit. This is from the line of seasonal sets for 2015. These sets clocked in at about 10 bucks, and they were little uh, 10 by 10 beignets. Overall, I think this set's excellent. It's a very detailed, very cool looking fireplace and like living room scene. The brick pieces and the stockings hanging on the chimney and just 
there's so many like little details in this set. I, I love it so much. You get a Santa minifigure with it, along with a small little Christmas tree and a little kitty cat. So this was by far my favorite set for the uh, year of 2015 in terms of seasonal sets. I think this one blew all the other ones out of the water. This one was excellent. It's actually one of those sets that I like to pull out of my closet every year and put on some shelf around my house when it comes to Christmas time. Because I think it makes like a cool little decoration to have sitting around your house. It's small and it's it's got a lot of character to it, I think. Coming in second place is 2012's entry into the Winter Village theme, set number 100229, the Winter Village Cottage. The set clocked in at 1,490 pieces and retailed for about 100 US dollars. Piece price ratio is excellent on it, and in my opinion this is by far the most detailed Winter Village set that we have ever gotten in line. Some people may ask me why this isn't in the number one spot, that's because I don't own this one. I stopped collecting the Winter Village ones after the three OGs. We had the Winter Village Toy Shop, the Winter Village Bakery, and the Winter Village Post Office. I just didn't have any more room on my shelf to keep adding Winter Village sets as much as I'd love to. I stopped at this point because the $100 price tag was a little intimidating at the time. So I took a hard pass on this one. Looking at it again, I really regret it because this set's got a ton of little excellent details to it. The interior is phenomenally detailed. It's very homey atmosphere on the inside, lots of really cool classic Christmas scenes in there. On top of the cottage itself, the set also came with a little igloo off to the side and I think what was a lumber house, a sled, and a snowplow. This set had a lot going for it. Also I really like the light blue color scheme of the whole thing, it really kind of differentiates it from the rest of the Winter Village line and makes it not necessarily like the shops that we typically see, but you can tell that this is a home. I like the Christmas lights hanging on top of it. Overall, this set is incredibly detailed, and I hate that I missed out on it. And I'm not really expecting to see a re-release of this, and quite honestly, I'm not expecting to see a re-release of any other Winter Village sets after how negatively received the Winter Toy Shop re-release was. <music> Clocking in at the first place spot is going to be the Winter Village Toy Shop. This is the 2009 OG variant, set number 10199. This set clocked in at 815 pieces and only cost 60 US dollars. All through the Christmas season of 2009, I would look through my Lego catalog and think about how bad I wanted this set. Now this set was in like really high demand when it first came out because we hadn't seen a Christmas set of quite this caliber before or this level of detail and it sold out before Christmas even came here so that year for Christmas I did not get the Winter Village Toy Shop. However the next year they restocked it and that along with the Winter Village Bakery uh, came the next year. This set has so much going for it. Possibly, I think this has the best Lego Christmas tree we have ever seen in any set period uh, it looks incredible all the little toys that came with it those caroler minifigures are still exclusive to this set because in the re-release from a couple years ago they made new prints for them in my opinion this is the superior set this is the quintessential winter village set this is the quintessential christmas set when it comes to lego they upped the price when they re-released the winter village uh toy shop again a couple years ago and this one holds a special place in my heart because of me growing up wanting this set and quite frankly the incredible piece to price ratio. This is an excellent set and this this kind of piece to price ratio and sets like this we don't see anymore which is kind of sad. All the little power functions uh, light up bricks in these Winter Village sets which I don't think they're doing those anymore really is just something that gave these sets so much character. like. My Winter Village Toy Shop, Bakery, and Post Office all have the yellow light bricks in them. And as impractical it is as it is, it's something fun that made these Winter Village sets special. Well guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up the list for this Christmas. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you disagree with any of my choices? Do you agree with any of my choices? Is there something I missed out on that you're like, how in the world could he forget this? Let me know, because I like hearing you guys' opinions. Other than that... I want to wish everyone a happy holidays. Christmas is right around the corner. Spend some time with your families. This is probably the last video I'm putting out for a little bit because take some time, spend the time with the family. Really enjoy my time here uh, back home for Christmas. 
and I just want to take this time to be thankful for everyone that has supported the channel and has subscribed or dropped a like or even just watched a video here and there like I really appreciate it I did not expect to be in this position that I am in right now back when I started this channel in March so I really want to thank everyone it means the world to me and don't think leaving a comment means like always oh, never gonna see this is gonna get buried I really make an effort to read all your comments and really try to stay connected with uh, everyone who's watching my videos so that's gonna wrap it up guys thank you so much for watching and all the support this year I'm probably gonna come back with a few more videos before the new year but other than that that's about it thank you guys drop a like if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next one